Let me guess. Could not sleep. Starting to become a common theme here. It was not always the case. The Abbey was once a different place. We... I was happy here once. Now that is something I would like to see. <laughs> I suppose I have earned that. I have been extra me lately, as Nico says. It is just that for so many nights now, every time I close my eyes, all I see is Wanda, drowning within darkness, calling to me. I do not think I will ever sleep again. Not until we find her. Losing a comrade is always traumatic. It is perfectly normal to dream about her. I am not just dreaming about her. She is reaching out to me. I could feel her, Hunter. Hear her crying out for help as if she was in the same room. Such anguish in her voice. It's a sound I will never forget. Like me, you also have a connection to the darkness, Hunter. Don't you also hear it calling out to you in your dreams sometimes? Whispering secret things. Dark things. I turn my back on her darkness just as my mother turned her back on the world. I have no connection to her or her kind anymore. You can tell yourself that all you want, Hunter. But I've heard you calling out in your sleep. Calling out to your mother, Lilith. I know you dream about her. But it is not your dreams that concern me today. All that matters is we find Wanda. I hope you will do what is right when the time comes. Sweet dreams, Hunter. This is my dream. You came to me. This new world suits you well. You look... strong. What is it you want? To love you. To be there for you as a mother should. Love? That word must burn your lips. Burn? <laughs> you have no idea. It is the only thing that fuels me. Everything I have done, everything I do, everything I will do is for you, child. Always for you. Can you honestly say the same about Sarah? Surrounding you with heroes who will gladly return you to your grave after you've exceeded your use. Wait! Not this again! Poor child. How did you end up so alone? What is on your mind, Robbie? Fear, anxiety, doubt, you know, a bunch of feel-good thoughts and feelings about where this team is headed. Why is that? Wanda is... gone. And all calls to Banner are going straight to voicemail. Everyone's on edge about it, and that puts me on edge, you know? Try not to worry too much, Robbie. Kinda hard not to. Worrying is like Sparky's full-time job. You know, I can't help thinking. The Avengers are so preoccupied with reaching Banner. But I bet no one would notice if I like took off and joined Hydra or just, I don't know, disappeared. Robbie, everyone here would notice, including me. I'm not so sure about that. I am. If you were to fall off the map, I would toil day and night to find you. Yeah, yeah. I guess you are pretty stand-up that way. I try. Uh, well, I guess I should go find Peter. See if he wants to chill. Might take my mind off things, you know? That is a good idea. See you around. Why is it that for every one of these sites we take out, it seems like two more appear in their place? Patience. Hydra certainly lives up to their name. I've hunted an actual Hydra. That was easier. Easier than this. I live up to my name, too. Hell of a prize, Crossbones, put on your head. Runt. Too bad he never said it had to stay attached to your body. Well, too bad for you. Big words. For a dead man. He got one thing right.
like today, Sabretooth. Heads are definitely about to roll. Oh, look. Another mangy stray. to him. Good point. Now I get to kill two ruts with one claw. Maybe I should be paying Hydra. I'm sure they'd prefer to go by their current aliases. Sabretooth and Wolverine. Those two have been at each other's throats for decades. Wolverine? Then he is a werewolf? I did not sense that from either of them. Because they are mutants. Like me. You are like them? I will not be howling at the moon anytime soon, Hunter. It affects us all in different ways. There are some things you'll need to become familiar with in our post-atomic world, Hunter. Mutants being a big part of that. A blessing or a curse in the blood, depending on who you ask. I can explain further if you must know. In the meantime, I need to look into what's happening in New York. Wolverine is an honorable man, if a bit rough around the edges. Sabretooth, on the other hand, is a homicidal maniac. The fact that he's got his sights set on you is definitely not good news. Wait, you know Logan? Who do you think first told me about you? You'd be surprised how many people have found their way into these woods over the years. And once they do, they tend to find a way back. I doubt this is the last we have seen of either of them. Wonderful. Logan and I are not exactly best friends or anything. He's more my brother, Piotr's friend. Like I said earlier, we're all mutants. Not to freak you out or anything. You say mutant as if it is a bad thing. In some parts of the world, it is a very bad thing. You've been sleeping in a grave, so you've missed out on the anti-mutant hysteria. The Mutant Registration Act, all that crap. 
So it is safe to say that things in the modern world are not easy for your kind. That's an understatement. So you and these other mutants, you all know each other from Russia? Hardly. We're all part of the X-Men. I mean, not currently. But I guess once you're an X-Men, you're always an X-Men. Just like a midnight sun. Hmm, I guess so. And this Sabretooth, he is a mutant. Does that make him an X-Man as well? Definitely not an X-Man. He and Wolverine go way back. Who knows what their feud was originally about. I doubt they can remember either. He has been tracking us for a bit. He was the presence I sensed at the docks. Are you sure it was him and not... something else? I hope this Wolverine takes care of him, so we do not have to worry about it. <laughs> you should be so lucky. Logan and Creed have been chasing one another's tails since before I was born. If Logan ever killed him, I think he'd be so overwhelmed he'd pass out. Thank you for explaining this to me. It seems I have a lot to learn. Of course. Mutant society is small, but super complicated. But all you need to know is that Sabretooth sucks. Having Sabretooth wrapped up in all of this is another headache we don't need. I can only hope Logan handles him swiftly, before he causes too much trouble. How much do you trust this Logan person? Quite a bit, actually. He's a bit prickly, but he's dependable. I have too much else to worry about right now. I do not have much patience for difficult personalities. Stark and strange bickering are as much as I can tolerate. Well, Logan isn't here, is he? He's out there, in the world, still tracking Sabretooth. If we're lucky, he'll put Sabretooth away for good, and that'll be the last we hear of it. And if we are not lucky... Then there will be a lot more dead bodies in our future. I suppose there is nothing more to do but wait. I have a feeling we will be seeing more of Logan and Sabretooth. Oh, I'd count on it.